Welcome. In this video, through an outbound distribution scenario, we will see how we can use S4 HANA transportation management and a combination of transportation schedules and LTL to secure on-time delivery to our customers. Before we start, let us look at some of the benefits of outbound intermodal with hub distribution. You can optimize across different modes of transports considering the overall lead time. It helps improve the tracking and visibility of your shipment across different modes of transports. And finally, better understand the total distribution cost across all transportation stages. Let us have a quick look at our scenario. We have three customer orders shipped from our manufacturing plant in Detroit to customers in Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina. The goods are shipped together on a scheduled truck from Detroit to a terminal in Chicago. In Chicago, the goods are loaded into a scheduled railroad departure and sent to the hub in Atlanta, Georgia. In the hub, the goods are split and sent to each customer on individual LTL freight orders. We will execute all of our activities from the transportation cockpit. In the transportation cockpit, we can see the three customer orders represented as three freight requirements or three freight units in the upper left corner. We take a quick look at each of the orders. The first one is for Blue Star in South Carolina, due for delivery 10th of October. The process flow overview shows the connection between the sales order and the plantable freight unit. The second order is for Bill Jensen, Georgia, with the same requested delivery date. The third and last order is heading for Alabama, to Rolling Bike Shop with delivery on the same date as the other two. As you may have noticed, the process flow shows the connection between the sales orders and their respective freight unit for all three orders. In the bottom left corner, we have several tabs to look at. The first one shows that we can plan with less than full truckloads, something we will utilize for our final distribution leg, from the hub in Atlanta. On the second tab, we have two schedules. One road schedule bringing goods from Detroit to the Chicago terminal every single day of the week. The second schedule represents a regular train departure between the Chicago terminal and the hub in Georgia. We can also expand and collapse the schedules directly in the cockpit view to see upcoming departures. Let us mark the three freight units and trigger the planning optimizer. The planning optimizer splits each freight unit in three, one for each of the necessary transportation stages needed to bring the goods to the customers. The nine freight units are then combined into five temporary freight orders. The orange and blue overlay colors show that the three units go together by road from Detroit to Chicago and train from Chicago to Atlanta. The red, green and yellow overlay represents the three last stages from Atlanta to the customers. We save and can see the five orders in the freight order overview in the upper right corner of the cockpit screen. The first freight order, orange, represents the scheduled road freight order from Detroit. The second one, blue, represents a rail freight order. Then we have the three subsequent LTL freight orders, one for each of the final legs to the customers. In the freight order overview window, we can see several tabs. We have in total five freight orders. We may choose between the different tabs if we want to focus on the road freight orders only, alternatively, the single rail freight order only. We can also maximize the freight order overview windows for better visibility. It is time to have a look at each freight order. We begin with the road freight order from our Detroit shipping point to the Chicago terminal at the top. On the items tab, we can see that goods from all three orders have been consolidated into it. This can also be seen in the document flow. The second order is the rail freight order from Chicago to the hub in Atlanta. All the goods also go together here, visible both on the items tab and in the document flow. The following order is for one of the last mile deliveries. This one is for Bill Jensen and contains his products and sales order only.
The fourth one is similar, this time for Blue Star Corporation. And the fifth and final is also a last mile delivery, for the rolling bike shop in Alabama. For another perspective, we will now revisit the three sales orders. Through a refresh of the sales order view, we can see that the freight unit connected to the rolling bike shop sales order is connected, as expected, to three different freight orders. The same can be seen for Bill Jensen's sales order. And, no surprise, the same applies to the sales order belonging to Blue Star. Each of the freight orders represents a cost collector for freight costs that occurred during its lifespan. We will now look at each of them to see that freight charges have been calculated, but even more importantly, allocated across the sales orders belonging to them. For the first freight order, we can see an even split across all three sales orders. The second freight order, the rail freight order also containing all three sales orders, provides a total cost for the journey from Chicago to Atlanta and a fair split between the three sales orders, here visible on the related freight settlement document. The three remaining freight orders all represent single load LTL freight orders, carrying the cost for one single sales order with everything allocated to the corresponding sales order only. So first, we look at the freight order for rolling bike shop. Then we look at the freight order for last mile delivery to Bill Jensen, adding up to the total cost of that delivery. And finally, we end by looking at the last leg freight order for Blue Star. The overall cost and the fare split among the sales orders are now available in finance. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Transportation Management, embedded and decentralized, cloud and on-premise. Let us recap some of the benefits of outbound intermodal with hub distribution. You can optimize across different modes of transports considering the overall lead time. It helps improve the tracking and visibility of your shipment across different modes of transports. And finally, better understand the total distribution cost across all transportation stages. The views, Information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.